Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grand Rising. I wanted to do this message because I know a lot of the spiritual, my spiritual sisters are trying to create or spiritual brothers or spiritual family, if you know, are trying to move on and create some type of new union with somebody. And I wanted to end my messages out with this one. Um, so I've been channeling a lot of music, different songs, and the song that comes to mind, I've done a read on this song before, but it's the Eric, uh, what's his name, Eric Robertson, and it's called Lessons. I love this song because at, immediately at the begin, beginning, it says, God has a funny way of showing us lessons. Now, you have to remember, spirit takes you through lessons to receive your blessings in any types of form of your life, right? So... This message is going to be for people that are trying to move on to a new connection. This would not resonate with everybody. A lot of y'all are still waiting for, you know, 11-11, your twin flame to come back and all that good stuff, which is fine. But at the same time, you know, this is for people that's moving on to somebody new. You know, you try to make it work and it's time to just, you know, take the lesson, overcome it to move on to something else. So let's definitely go ahead and tap into this message. All right, Angel Michael, my name, I'm about to say my name. <laughs> Use me in the highest white light as I give a clear and community to understanding message to Aquarius and just whoever needs to hear this. As that you bring forth to whoever needs to hear this and block out whoever does not need to hear this. Um, since it's Mardi Gras, you know I've been using the New Orleans deck. And I'm also going to use some type of tarot into this. Um, But yeah, spirit does have a funny way of showing us lessons. Um, definitely either to receive our blessings, you know, sometimes people are, are put into your life, um, for a season and, or not, or whatever the case may be. But in this particular message with this song, he's saying every heartbreak led me to you. Okay. So you could be talking to somebody and you could have some type of chemistry with somebody and you're just like, man, where did you come from? Like I should have been taught to you or whatever the case may be. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and tap into it just to see um, how you're feeling, um, overcoming your fear of actually moving forward, taking the lesson and definitely let it resonate with whatever it needs to resonate with you. You know, each person has different lessons. And so we're definitely going to see what it is, sugar. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box, all right? I don't know if I said finding in your spirits to like, comment, and subscribe, but um, this card immediately popped out. So definitely it's a new adventure, especially if you're overcoming a lesson. You know, a lot of times we want to blame spirit and spirit is just looking down at us like, what? <laughs> you know? And that's why I say it's, it comes a time where you have to take some type of ownership when it comes to when it comes to um when it comes to you right i'll put y'all down so that way you don't always have to see me <laughs> so let's see and i'm playing this song as i'm actually doing this because um i love this song god does have a funny way of showing us lessons he really does Yep, but you got to keep going, right? You got to keep going. Um, let me see if y'all can see this. You got to keep going. And you have to take a step back. And you want to know why you have to take a step back, Aquarius. Because some type of growth is coming into this. All right? Some type of growth before you to regain some type of balance between yourself. By you actually speaking your truth and going through your spiritual knowledge and taking care of yourself, self-care, self-love, it enables you to actually share your gifts or use your gifts at this time. So this is definitely very beautiful. So if you are in some type of new connection that you want to take an adventure on somebody or whatever that you're going through at this time, just remember, there you go, just remember that you, as you start something new to go down this road um or you took a step back just to be by yourself just know that you are growing not only are you going growing physically you're going mentally as well you're regaining some type of balance which you know the universe your ancestors um your spirit guides um they all love that you know regaining some type of balance that's why we see 333 and it actually um 
push you in your state of mind to speak your truth, you know, your throat chakra, aligning your chakras at this time with this card. Now, by this self-care being here, whatever the case may be, just keep in mind, self-care, you know, is not going to happen overnight. Self-care is just not getting up, taking a bath, taking a shower, brushing your teeth. That's not what self-care is. Self-care is actually aligning your body as well. So that way, when you do want to, you know, go on this new adventure with somebody and your gifts are telling you that they're right for you, then it's going to make some type of smooth selling <coughs> excuse me to where y'all gonna have that same that same giving back the same energy that you put out yep because you're going to be focused um with this new union so don't doubt yourself okay some of y'all are being patient you know some of y'all are just like you know what star i'm going through my awakening I'm just being patient at this time. I really don't want to um, move forward with anybody. I want to focus on myself. And that's perfectly fine, okay? This message is not going to resonate with everybody. All right? Now, for the ones that, you know, end of a cycle and you want to keep moving, then spirit got you 1,000% for a new beginning. These cards are just resonating with everything that I'm saying. And I'm loving it. Yep, because you're using your intuition, all right? So, just know... Whatever union that you go, whether you're waiting for you to grow um, some type of spiritual knowledge, just know it's going to be a success because you're going to be in power. I keep telling y'all that this is the age of the Aquarius, okay? This is the age of the Aquarius. So as far as um, as far as what your dreams is telling you, then it's letting you know that you don't have to sit here and hold yourself back from anybody. You can have that companionship and that abundance if you like it at this time. All right? So definitely go with the flow. Put yourself first with gratitude, self-love, um, and notice the signs too. Because a lot of you are learning, and that's fine. That's fine that you are learning yourself. That's why we make a fit a wish fish. That's why we make a wish at eleven eleven, right? Now I realize. Listen to that song by Eric Robinson. If you're in a new union. And you and your union have some type of chemistry. Now, I'm not talking about like a fresh, fresh union because then it may not resonate. But I'm talking about with the union to where y'all have some type of, you know, chemistry. Because, you know, I'm talking like I've been talking for a minute. Like I've been knowing each other for a minute. All right, let's see. What's the message? Yeah, okay, make this up. This is for the new lovers. Yep. Whatever you cut off in the past, it's fine. You cut this off for a reason. So for the ones that don't want to move forward, you know, you're still healing from whatever happened to you, then it's okay. But spirit is saying you can hold on to memories or you can create new memories, right? With the defense up. You can keep your defense up or you can manifest what you want at this time. It's okay to move forward from unions, right? It's okay, it's okay to celebrate, you know, divorce parties or whatever the case may be or celebrate, you know, just getting out of some type of commitment to, you know, find your independence, to plant your seeds and to move forward. And spirit is definitely saying that's fine and dandy. But at the same time, don't you deserve to be happy? Don't you deserve to have a new beginning? You do. Yep. Let that heartbreak, leave that heartbreak where it's at because everybody is not out to hurt you. Yep, told you. Everybody is not out to hurt you. Whoever done you wrong, they're not going to reap their rewards because you were special. Nine of Wands, you don't have to move forward in some type of passion or charge or be in control all the time. You're intuitive, okay? We're leaving out in the cold. This could have been what happened to you or what happened to um, the person that you've done this to. Everybody is not sneaky, but don't be indecisive on the decision. All right. 
Spirit knows you deserve to be happy. Yeah, with this justice card here. Some people are still waiting to get justice, but when are you going to find love, true love? When are you going to let your fate be how you want it to be? I wait. Now I realize lovers want to pop out again. I'm trying to tell you the high priestess and the temperance. By you actually finding balance with the high priestess spirit sees whatever that you can't go back to, that's fine. But it's time for you to find your happiness. Yep. It's time for you to regain some type of love too. Because you may have options, but you got to realize. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody don't want me to get this out. But you got to realize even though with all those options, you got to always be careful of what you choose. Yep, of what you choose, of who you choose. Now with the Nine of Pentacles, somebody may want to make you an offer. It may be a slow offer, but it's best to take things slow than to rush into some type of childish ass um, energy. All right. Um, somebody that you may be with don't want to stab you in the back at this time, right? Don't want to have you in a third party. They want to give you equal give and take. Yep. Whatever you walked away from, just know that you can gain it too. If you believe. Yep. Ace of Pentacles. Spirit is saying, I can give you whatever. You just got to communicate what you want. You got to communicate to me what you want. With the Ace of Wands, whether it's passion or whatever the case may be, you have to communicate it. You have to choose who to work with and who not to work with at this time. As far as our popping out. Yep, put your defense down because you may meet a king of swords or you may meet somebody just, just as cutthroat as you are and don't play. They may want to make you an offer as well because they found wish fulfillment with you. Yep, ten of cups. Two of cups. Man, come on now. Ooh, hoo, hoo. come on. Union with the, ooh, with the vision. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. You're no longer unblinded. So you don't have to be in control or hold on to anything. Or don't let somebody hold on to you that don't deserve you. Don't sit there and put yourself in a tower moment over your thoughts, sugar. Take control of your own life, especially if you're talking to somebody new. Look for the key words. I want to build with you. I want to grow with you. I want to love you. All right. I don't want to juggle you. You know, I want to move fast, but I don't want to cause no type of commitment. And I will never walk away from you. Why? Because I can't stop looking at you. Why? Because you're not a burden. Why? I don't want to cause you pain. And look. Yep. Ace of Swords. Hmm. Yep. Now, this can be some type of how you are to where you was in the commitment and you wanted to be, um, or somebody was greedy with you or whatever, or maybe you and your new union want to eat. <laughs> y'all want to, y'all stingy with each other. Y'all find a wish fulfillment with each other. This person is going to be very protective over you. They're not going to play and they're not going to sit here and take nobody else's cup because they want to be with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So put an end to whatever union ain't work. Because you got a king of wands over here, sugar. They got passion for you. Yep, and spirit man guided this. You didn't know this person was coming towards you or felt like that towards you. Spirit was guiding this for this person not to be over um, over controlling or excessive. With, it's my last card, Ace of Swords. Truth. Everybody that lets you down brought you to this particular person. Even if it's like somebody else re-entering your life or whatever the case may be, it could be some type of change. But just know that you realize, you realize, you know, what spirit was trying to do. You know? So don't sit there and be mad at spirit because something ain't work out. Don't do that to yourself. Has a funny way of showing us in the sense. Yep, told you success.
Yeah. All you gotta do is listen. All you gotta do is just, just chill. <laughs> All right. Listen to your new person. Let your person know, you know, that you want to elevate. Keep your calm. I told you to chill. Don't go about no rituals of what somebody wants you to do. Choose your own way within this union. Yep, surrender. And know that it's going to shine, right? But all you got to do is move. So for the ones that sit here saying, I'm going to wait, what are you waiting for? I'm going to take these in reverse. What are you waiting for? Spirit is like, what, what, you know, stop being optimistic. You never know. The same needs that you got is the same needs somebody else got. Release what you need to release. Self love is the best love. Take care of yourself. Because you never know who's watching. Yep, imitation. I want to love you. Yep, and have passion towards you too. Passion with risk. Reassess, um, focus. You already done what you need to do, Aquarius. So for the new ones out there, stop sitting there overthinking. Just talking to somebody. If you're trying to rekindle with somebody else, you know, you took this risk, you're the same. And, you know, sometimes everybody is not perfect. So by you actually taking this risk, don't think that, you know, or even if you don't want to move on to somebody new, don't think that everybody is get you, against you and don't turn your back to people as well. All right. Time waits for no one. All right, so that concludes my messages for today. I will be going live later on on StreamYard. So if you would like to come up, then you most definitely can. If you got a read for me, 1111 read, please reach out to me, 832-949-5111. So that way I can schedule your read, all right? Um, stay high, stay positive, stay high vibrational, stay um, blessed, stay safe at this time. And other than that, namaste, y'all. Have a good day.